with a little drink up me hearty show ho We kidnap and ravage and don't give a hoot Drink up me hearty show ho Yo ho yo ho A pirate's life for me We extort, we pilfer, we filch and sack Drink up me hearty show ho Maraud and embezzle and even hijack Drink up me hearty show ho Yo ho yo ho A pirate's life for me Aren't you a sight? You look how I feel, mate. Here, pull yourself together. An honor to meet you, truly. And now, it's time to make our sortie. As in exit. As in leave. As in... Now! Works every time. That's not thunder, mate. If I were you, I'd fetch my personal effects and get out of range of those cannons. Dogger old Dan will help you out. That is, if he's still on this scrap of an island, tell him Captain Jack Sparrow sent you. No, 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 no. we're closed, mate, out of business. Packing up before those cannons get any closer. And you do the same if you knew what's good for you. What's that? Captain Jack sent you. Did he mention he still owes me for that thing? I don't know. Let it go, Dan. And hand over the chest so we can shove off. Well then, I suppose I've been holding this sea chest for you. Now reckon this, mate. Get yourself down to the dock and find Captain Bo Beck before it's too late. I'll put that in a journal for you. Oh, and one more thing. When you see Jack Sparrow again, give him this message. From the back of us! Fair winds, mate. Come aboard quickly! I was about to shove off without you. Jolly Roger will be back in a hair's breadth, or my name's not Bo Beck. Risked my neck to fetch Captain Sparrow, I did. But he most generously requested that I take you to Port Royal in his place. Now grab a cannon and keep an eye peeled for trouble. It's Jolly Roger, and he's got us dead to rights. Sparrow! Don't worry. I'll handle this. Where's that yellow coward sparrow? Beck, we had a deal. But Sparrow paid me double what you was paying. A pretty piece of profit, too. Uh, so here's your gold back. Of course, I was going to reimburse you, as it were. <laughs> Looks like the price of loyalty just went up, eh? What? Can't take a joke? <laughs> Dead men tell no tales. So I'm forced to let you live. Just make sure Jack Sparrow knows I'm coming for him. Said I'll be letting you live. The sharks may not be so charitable. What are you waiting for? Stay calm! Ah! On my word, do as I say or I'll run you through. Hmm, unarmed. Wait, you're Jack's friend. Please, accept my apologies. There's some gentlemen from the East India Trading Company looking for me. Can't be too cautious. Well, you aren't much use unarmed, with Jolly Roger's skeleton army on the move. Here. The blade's a bit rusty. Not well balanced. But it should suffice for the present. Not familiar with the blade? That practice dummy will do. Keep the sword. You'll need it. But you'll need more than just a cutlass if you're to challenge the likes of Jolly Roger. Tia Dalma has something for you as well. Go now. It's me they're after. Find Tia Dalma in the jungle. You'll know her by the lantern she carries. Good luck. The claws lie true. There's a touch of destiny in you. But know that the skeleton you destroyed was nothing but a drop in the ocean. Jolly Roger's servants are many. 
and most be far more dangerous. Look now. From the darkness come the light. And one rising, Lord Beckett's deadly assassins, the Black God. On the other, Jolly Rogers' skeleton army. Their powers grow, Lord Beckett and Raja. No more this can be. You must play your part, just as Witter Jack will play his part. Now take this, something for you, help to find a way, yes. I watch you. When destiny whispers, I will reveal more of the dark arts. But first, you must help Witter Jack recover his dear black pearl. For without a pearl, we all be lost. Go now, hurry. Ah, oh, so you're Jack Sparrow's newest protege, hmm? Well, I'm afraid dear Jack is in more trouble than he realizes. Lord Beckett has recruited an army of assassins, and there's no parley with Jolly Roger. Jack needs our help if he's to take back the pearl. The Navy has it heavily guarded. What's this? Release orders for the Pearl? I can see why Jack has taken a liking to you. But these will do you no good without my father's seal. Here. Now if the Navy catches you with these orders, there'll be no trial. You must leave Port Royal immediately. You'll be much safer if you make for Tortuga. Find Jack, he'll know what to do. I'd go with you myself, but I'm awaiting my father's return. And he's long overdue. I'll arrange a boat for you. Good luck. This here's a dark place. You'll need more than that cutlass if you want to get out of here with your skin. Here, take this. Now before you go blasting every feckless ingrace in sight, a word of warning about the code. The code covers more than just parlay. It defines the guidelines of engagement for a pirate. I was getting to that, you mongrel. This be the path to remember. There'd be no use of unnecessary force. No shooting of the pirates, or even Navy swine for that matter. Cheat them, steal from them, plunder their ships, yes. But no guns. That is, unless you be facing a cursed pirate. You see, the code don't apply to dead pirates. So. If you want to have a go against your mates, <laughs> be sure you pick up one of these. <laughs> now you can blast away at each other, all you like. See, it doesn't hurt a bit. And the button's popped clear off. Hmm. This being Singapore. By custom, I had no choice, but... You don't happen to have a lovely sister by the name of Ethel, do you? No? Good. Right then. Welcome to Tortuga. Captain Jack Sparrow, at your service. And this gentleman, who needs no introduction, is... What's your name again, mate? John. <laughs> uh, well, uh, James, actually. Right. We were discussing the important matter of my next drink. Is... still there? Oi. Now I remember. You're that scrap of flotsam from jail. Come to square up with me for that free trip to Port Royal, eh? We're going after the Black Pearl, mate. Savvy. So go find Joshua Gibbs. And tell him I sent you. Leave a nice tip, mate. Jeremy here pours a spirit of spirit. Do we